Hello everyone, it's me Caroline. Excuse my cat is pushing um, her little ball. She has to work for her food. So there's a background noise and I'm very sorry for that. But today I was finally able to film a new video. I'm really sorry I couldn't put one up last week. But because of the new YouTube partnership program thing, um, yeah, I'm basically being kicked out of the program because uh, I don't have enough subs or hours watched but by now you should know what all of this is about so yeah I was kind of very troubled by that and when I was trying to film I was just all over the place and not in a very good mood so yeah couldn't happen and this week I was very very busy I started a program um, to help me find a job. So it's uh, five days a week and it's uh, keeping me pretty busy. So today I was able to record and I'm in a good mood. So uh, this is gonna be fun. I want to talk about the Pilot Kakuno. It is not a new pen. I've done some research and it seems that it's been out since 2013 but I only started hearing about it last week in 2017. But with my research, I found out that even during 2015, um, it got on the market in US and Canada. So I don't know why I just heard about it last year, but it's a very cute, fun pen. Kekuno means to write in Japanese. So this pen is really marketed towards uh, students or beginners. The price range is about $18 Canadian, but I found that on US website, it's around $12. So it is not a metal pen like the Pilot Metropolitan. It's made of plastic, so it's very lightweight. The nibs is a steel nib and it's available in fine or medium. I've got the medium one. Um, they are very cute. The fine one has a smiley face and the medium one has a winky face. The shape of his pen is hexagonal um, and there's a little tiny bump on the cap so it's supposed to not roll away. The shape of this pen is hexagonal and the grip part is triangular but not as extreme as a Lamy Safari. If this is something that bothers you, it's less pronounced on this pen. And it comes in a variety of colors. Uh, there's the pastel line that has a white body and a pastel cap. There's a pink, a lilac, a blue, a yellow, and there's also a dark gray one with a colored cap, lime green, red, orange, blue. And I think there's pretty recent, but they have a completely clear one, a demonstrator, and there's also a completely gray one. So you have a lot of choice. So this pen, despite being very light, is very sturdy. I think the cap is it feels very secure. The nib is super smooth. I think it's the same nib as the Metropolitan. I had the Metropolitan in a fine nib, but this one is a medium and it almost looks like it's um, a stub nib. I can almost feel a little calligraphy feel uh, when I write it, but it's super, super smooth. The ink flow is quite wet. I haven't had any trouble with skipping or anything. One thing though with Pilot pens, they have a special type of ink cartridges so you can put international ink cartridges in there but it comes with a car ink cartridge so I just decided to refill mine with a syringe. You can also get a converter but I think for a like $12 pen, if you want to invest like 6 or $7 in a, converted, a converter, fine for you but I just decided to refill my own cartridge. You can't um, convert this pen into a converter because there's little holes at the bottom of the pen. Um, I think it's for choking hazard because it's marketed toward children or students. As you can see size-wise, the Pilot Metro and the Kakuno are similar. If you you remove the cap and if you like post them like you change a little but not so much that it's uh, noticeable so i like to have it capped in my hand um i think this is like if you can see with my hand it's quite a 
tiny pen, but not so tiny that it's hard to write with. So overall, I would say this is a great, great pen. It is very cheap. It works very well. I never had problems with my Pilot pens. They are very good quality. I think I've heard Goulet pens say that um, because they're able to make such a big quantity of pen, it's easier for them to provide lower prices. But yeah, I think if you want to get someone into fountain pens, it's a really nice way. It's cheap, it works well, and it doesn't break your heart if someone bends the nib. Personally, I really like the pastel colors, but I think that the darker ones are very office appropriate if you're worried about your pen looking like childish or anything. I think the darker one or even the clear one are very professionals. Professional? No S. So yeah, that was my little review. I hope you enjoyed. I have a few other fountain pens that I would like to review, so keep an eye out for that. If you like fountain pens review, just tell me in the comments or give me a thumbs up on this video. I think that YouTube, Facebook and Instagram are really pushing for um, interactions, so any kind of comments or likes or so yeah it pains me to ask for them but that's the way it's gonna be so um i hope you enjoyed i'll try to put a video every week but yeah i will see with my schedule maybe it's gonna have to be every two weeks but yeah, i'm going with the flow so thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you want to be updated about my new videos, I post a little more on Instagram, um, but yeah, feel free to write to me. I love reading your comments and um, yeah, I'm stretching this out. <laughs> I don't know why. It's all for today. Take care.